Hey everybody, this video is an in-depth guide to the AirTurn Manager app. I'm going to take you through all of the features of the app and show you how they can be used to customize your pedal. If you have a specific feature that you'd like explained, check the description for chapter markers and timestamps so that you can quickly skip where you want to go. Let's get started. All right, we've already got a pedal connected to this iPad. Now let's open up the AirTurn Manager app and have a look around. On the first screen, you see a header that says Air Direct Air Turns. This is where you see any air turn pedals that are connected or available to connect to your device. Click the image to access programming options for the pedal. Below that, you see the manuals for some of AirTurn's legacy pedals. At the bottom, you have the Support and Feedback Center. Click here to get help with this app or to submit feedback. You can also take a screenshot in the app at any time and submit it to our customer service department. Let's have a look at the menu for the pedal. The first thing you see is a link to the manual. Tap that to read your device's manual in a variety of languages. Next is the check for updates icon. Tap that to update your pedal's firmware. This is similar to updating the operating system in a computer or a phone. The auto repeat setting can be used to fine tune the rate at which your pedal repeatedly sends a signal when the switch is held in the on position. Use the two sliders to adjust the delay before the repeat kicks in, as well as the repeat rate itself. You can set anything from one repetition per second to 10 repetitions per second. The power off when idle slider is used to set the amount of time that your pedal can remain unused before it automatically powers off. If you are a live musician, make sure that this slider is set to a time that exceeds the length of your performance. Switch Actions takes you into the submenu where you can program your pedal, and Advanced takes you into the Advanced Options menu. Save to Air Turn saves any changes you have made to your pedal. Reset Changes restores the last save configuration, and Reset to Default erases any custom programs and restores the factory default settings. Share Configuration allows you to export a file containing the current configuration of your pedal. You can then use this file as a preset to load onto multiple pedals, or you can share it with a friend. Now let's dive into the Switch Actions menu. The first thing that you see is a grid containing the available modes on your pedal. The modes are preset packages for your pedal, such as a page turning mode for documents or playback controls for a video. See the pedal manual for a detailed explanation of each mode. You can find those either in this app or by clicking the link in the description. Select the mode that you wish to reprogram. After you select a mode, select the pedal switch you want to customize. The Save and Reset options for the individual switch work the same way as the options on the main menu. Scroll down and you see the Sequence Type option. This allows you to have your pedal send a signal as a sequence or a combination. Sequence has your pedal send a series of commands one after the other. It can also send a single command if you want. Combination is the more common setting. This has your pedal send a set of commands all at the same time, like Command C or Shift 9 or any other combination of keys. Like Sequence, this setting can also send a single command. Notice that whenever you make a change to your switch settings, a red dot appears on the corresponding mode and switch icons. This is letting you know that you have unsafe changes made to the switch. Hit Save Switch Changes and the dot disappears. The items are the individual commands that are sent when your pedal is triggered. Item 1 is the first, item 2 is the second, and so on. Each time you add an item, a third, fourth, fifth, etc. pops up. You can have as many as eight items. The mechanism setting determines the manner in which your pedal sends a signal. If you set it to momentary, when the switch is pressed, the on signal is sent. When the switch is lifted, the off value is sent. This sends the signal as a constant stream as long as the switch is held down. This setting defers any auto-repeat functions from your pedal to your device. If you set it to pulse and press the switch, the on signal is sent, followed immediately by the off signal. This makes the signal into a short burst or pulse. This mechanism has your pedal take over auto-repeat functions from your device. Set it to latch, press the switch, and the signal toggles either on or off. This makes the signal into a steady beam similar to turning a light on and off. If you set it to command and press the switch, the on value is sent. You can press the switch again and again, sending and resending the on value, but the off value is never sent when using this mechanism. The type setting allows you to select the type of key commands that are sent to your device. You can choose keyboard for a complete list of keyboard commands. 
consumer is used for special keys, such as the mute and volume buttons, the play pause buttons, and the brightness buttons. These are used to play and pause videos or podcasts. Different keyboards may have different special keys. Set it to mouse for the left, right, and middle mouse buttons. Under modifier, you select a secondary key to modify the primary key, like the alt option key, command shift, anything like that. Next, depending on which type of key commands you selected, you either see the keyboard code, consumer code, or mouse submenus. Click here to set the key command for your chosen switch. Add custom off value lets you program your pedal to send a separate command signal when the switch is released. Use this to fine tune the function of your pedal. That's everything in the switch actions menu. Now let's look at the advanced options. Connection speed lets you choose either low power mode or fast response. Low power mode is a reduced connection speed that conserves battery power. Fast response is an increased connection speed that makes your pedal more responsive at the cost of reduced battery life. Next, you can set the pairing method to open or closed. With the open pairing method, the pedal can be paired with up to eight devices, but it can only be connected to one device at a time. With the closed pairing method, your pedal is married to a single device. Use this to avoid confusion when connecting multiple pedals to multiple devices in close proximity to one another. Debounce time is the amount of time that your pedal will pause after the switch has been pressed before it will send another signal. If you are experiencing unintended button presses or page turns, try increasing the value. If your pedal is not responsive enough, try decreasing the value. OEM configuration allows you to reinstate a customized configuration that's been overwritten or erased. You'd use this if you have something like a Spark or RJ Cooper pedal and you want to restore the original configuration. That's it. Now you're ready to fully customize your AirTurn pedal. Comment below if you have any questions about the app and check out the AirTurn YouTube channel for more tutorials and product guides. Thanks for watching.